the Nutcracker. It was Christmas Eve. All day long, Clara and her brother Fritz had waited for the moment when the drawing room doors would open and they would see the Christmas tree. At last it was time. Clara's godfather, Dr. Drosselmeyer, flung open the doors. Candle burned brightly on the huge fir tree. Glass ornaments, gingerbread men, and sweet sugar plums hung from the branches. Pretty, huh? Ooh. One by one, the children opened their presents. Fritz got a jack in the box and a fine toy and a, a jack in the box and fine toy soldiers. And for Clara, there was a carved wooden sleigh, a pair of harlequin and columbine dolls, and a beautiful doll's palace in its own garden. Oh look, there's a duck. You can pull, and here's. Toy soldiers. And here's. Come on. Hmm. There we go. Look at that. And here's the sleigh. See that? And here's the dolls. Mm hmm. Clara saved her last godfather's present for her Clara saved her godfather's present for last. It was a nutcracker. Oh, shaped like a little wooden man. Dr. Drosselmeyer was surely the best toy maker in Nuremberg. Late that night, Clara was awakened by the scampering of tiny feet. She followed the sound down the stairs to the drawing room. Mice, mice fighting everywhere. The toys fought hard, but were losing the battle until the nutcracker bravely attacked the terrifying mouse king. Leave my nutcracker alone, shouted Clara. She hurled her slipper at the mouse king. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Oh, look, see the mice up in there? The mice vanished as if by magic, and the nutcracker changed into a handsome young man. I am the nutcracker prince, he said. You have saved my life, Clara. Let me take you to my kingdom. The prince led Clara to a carved wooden sleigh. The, he tucked a rug around her knees, and they whirled away to an enchanted land of frost and snow. See that? Hmm. Let's do it again. See the owl. Look at the owl here that came out. And the deer. Oh, there he goes. Mm -hmm. Sugar plums and lemon drops grew on the trees. And the leaves were made of spun sugar. In the distance, through the trees, Clara saw a magnificent palace. They swept in through the gates and went inside. Look. Oh. See that? Mm. In the great hall, a ball was taking place. Clara and the prince 
watched the Russian, Chinese, and Spanish dancers. Clara clapped her hands when the sugar plum fairy pirouetted into the hall. Hers was the loveliest dance of all. Oh, here's the Russian dancers. See them dancing? And here's the Chinese dancers. Oh, yes. Oops, we got to get that over more. Sorry. Here we go. Chinese dancers. And here's the Spanish dancers. And here's the sugar plum fairy. Ooh, she's so pretty. Yes. A gust of wind blew Clara's curtains open. Over the sound of sleigh bells, a faraway voice could just be heard. Goodbye, Clara. Sweet dreams. See, there's her godfather and her parents. Goodbye, Clara, sweet dreams. As the last stars faded from the sky, the palace, the prince, and the dancers disappeared, and Clara was asleep in her own bed, the toy nutcracker on her pillow. Mm -hmm. 